Surviving means remembering those who didn't and living every day of your life in search of why you did. Whether a life is taken too soon by an apathetic disease or by the hand of a prejudiced radical, it's unfair. Tomorrow is promised to no one, but that doesn't mean we should stand by and let life happen to us. Life should happen because of us. I don't know why I got cancer. I ran a marathon two days after finding a lump on my testicle. I've never smoked. I wear sunscreen. There's no singular reason a doctor could have given me. We're imperfect and we'll never be faultless, but that doesn't mean we can't strive to be better. We need a moonshot to end cancer, but we also need to end hunger, poverty, injustice towards all types of race, creed, sexuality, and gender, and bring a halt to the destruction of our planet and the cruelty towards the creatures we share it with. Normally every 15th of every month, we'd bring you a bit of brevity and implore you to touch yourself. To fight cancer through early detection and take measures to reduce risk. But I'm too overwhelmed with the state of the world to make jokes this month. Instead, I implore you to find your voice and make it heard. Utilize the reach of the internet to work towards positive change in something that you feel passionately about. If a keyboard playing cat can reach millions of eyes, how can we use that to support no-kill shelters? If a boy biting his brother's finger can catch the world's attention, then why can't we bring that sort of interest to global hunger? If a Korean pop music video can break YouTube's view counter, then why can't we reach across oceans and embrace each other as brothers and sisters? Let's make stuff that matters. I needed to create a reason why I got cancer. Why I'm here when others don't get to be. Check 15 is that reason. It's why I'm still here. Find your reason and share it with the world. See you next month.